Hi, it's Emma Coburn. I run for Team New Balance. I'm an eight-time US champion, two-time global medalist, and a 2017 world champion. I'm here with Fleet Feet to talk about committing to your pre-run exercise and really um, showing you what those exercises look like for me, but also hoping that uh, you guys choose to commit to making you know, these a better part of your pre-run running routine. It's important to do exercises before I run, really to prime my body. So my first mile, I'm feeling warmed up and ready to go instead of kind of feeling creaky and slow that first mile. One of the most simple pre-run exercises that I do is a, a series of hip exercises that really open up my hips and strengthen my glutes. Standing on one leg, you do a half circle with your other leg with a band around your ankles and you really should feel it not only in the glute that's standing but in the leg that's making the half circles. So do eight per side. The standing half moon drill is very good for beginners to try. It's a great way to target your glute muscles. Um, so standing on one leg, um, really feeling powerful and strong in that leg, you'll feel a little bit of burn in, in that glute, but then also in the leg that's doing the half moon exercise, you'll feel a lot of engagement in that glute. And the next variation is staying in that same position, just doing back diagonal. And when you're doing this, try not to lean forward too much, try to stay really strong and just be using this glute to move. Similar to the half moon, you'll be feeling a burn in your glutes, and if you go nice and slow, you'll really be able to isolate your glutes and feel that movement there. Then the last one is just side to side, walking, putting the band on your feet, and just walking side to side with a slight bend in your knees. Banded lateral walks. You'll be feeling this in your glutes and maybe a little bit in your um, hips as well. Uh, this is a great exercise, again, for that glute engagement. The next exercise is knee drives, and you can either do it banded if you have a partner, or you can just use a wall. So if you don't have a buddy or a band, you can use a wall for that knee drive drill and just use your glute to power you through. Good glute activation, core. And just slide yourself. Most of the focus in this, because you don't have the instability factor, you're focusing a lot on power and forcing the leg that's standing deep into the ground, and then you'll be able to flex your glute even more and really feel that engaged. That's it. The next exercise I do is called bird dog, and it, again, is great for your glutes, but it's also um, good for your core and your thoracic mobility. You should be feeling it in your glute and in your core. It also gets nice thoracic mobility because you're extending your arm um, and that instability and balance really helps all those small muscles fire. Then the last one is um, a single leg hip bridge. Great for glutes, hamstrings, and core again. So lay down, bridge up, squeeze your glutes, be solid through your core, and then lift one leg and hold for 30 seconds. Single leg hip bridge is great for your glute and your hamstrings. When you're doing this exercise though, you really wanna make sure your, your body is in a nice, even plain, don't let your hips sag or drop, and really be squeezing and engaging your glute. And um, a way to trick your body into engaging your glute more is the heel that's down. Um, make You can lift your toes off on that and just be on your heel, and that will make your body um, just really focus on engaging your glute. Now ready to run. That's it for the exercises. I hope you like them, and I hope you try them out. Um, for your runs and start to feel great right away. Subscribe to Fleet Feet's YouTube channel and like this video. Thanks.